Hey gang, Koki here, back with what investors need to know now. This week, uh, we are talking about getting unstuck. Are you stuck? Uh, this month, we're talking about, you know, it's the spooky Halloween month, right? And as markets um, climb higher and do a bit of this, this, and this, whether it's um, stocks and or bonds, um, there's been a lot of volatility in the air. And we are talking about what um, scares you the most, what scares investors the most. Last week, we talked about what I what scared me the most, which were bonds, 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 bonds. So if you're looking um, to understand more about your three-year bucket, which we talked about week one, uh, and what to put in it, which is what we talked about in week two, uh, which is not bonds um, and or some really safe low duration bonds. Maybe go back a couple weeks. Um, the replays will only take you five to 10 minutes, um, but glad you joined us here today. Today, we're talking about um, those that are paralyzed and, and sort of getting unstuck, paralyzed with this idea of um, not wanting to make a move uh, for fear of making yet another mistake. So I don't know. I don't know if you've ever been there, but um, having done this for, yes, you see the gray, <laughs> uh, 25 years since 1996. Um, so having heard a lot of people talk about how hard it is to make a move, and I get it. I get it. Moving banks, refinancing your mortgage, uh, moving your investments. And I'm not even here about move your investments. Okay. That's not what this is about. This is a lot, a lot of public service announcement. Um, because I want you to jot down this number, $344,000, $344,000. Jot that down. We'll come back to that. What we're talking about today is what about making the mistake of just paying too much? Forget about shooting the moon and finding the next next best investment advisor who you know offers you the best performance and always outperforms and always beats the S&P 500. I mean that person doesn't exist. You know, we all um you know hit it some years and don't hit it in others. But the key and I want to quote um this week's um she said it or from the client's mouth, uh people are paralyzed, said Angie. People are paralyzed. In quotes, uh, I trusted you. That's why I got unstuck and moved my assets. Uh, that is a quote from Angie in Georgia. Now, I want to say this, full transparency. Um, Angie has known me for, gosh, I think maybe going on six, maybe seven years. Um, Angie does um, some writing for us um, here at AlphaVest and at Perfect Day. So Angie and I have gotten to know it, one another uh, over the years. So, so that trust came easily and I wanted not easily, but I've earned it over the years. So it's a little different if you're thinking, mm, I don't know about my investment portfolio. It's not performing very well. And I have the sense that yes, I am paying too much in fees. Um, so then how do you gain that trust if you don't know another advisor? Well, one way just to get unstuck is just to simply think about that $344,000 number. I don't know if you remember the commercials where the person would go around walking with their number under their arm and it would be, you know, they'd be walking in the front lawn or, or mowing the lawn and talking to the neighbors and waving. And they had this big, long, some, some of their numbers were 2,528,000, some were 4 million and change, some were 900,000 and change. But what's your number? So, you know, that depends on how much you spend and, you know, how much you need at retirement. But if your number is somewhere in the way of $2 million and you're going to have a 30-year uh, investment career, which most do. So let's say you start investing at 25 or 30, you retire at 60. If you pay too much in fees, you could pay, waste, lose, give away upwards of $344,000. So if that's not staggering enough to get you unstuck in permission, granting you permission to make maybe another mistake, I don't know what will. Because what could you do with an additional $344,000 in retirement? I bet a lot. So 
again, in full transparency, when Angie gave me, I asked Angie, I said, you know, people are stuck right now. People are just, um, you know, we're, we're getting, we're getting feedback. We're getting, um, emails from the website and lots of great questions, but no one wants to do anything and that's okay. But it's, it just, it just made me go, Hmm, why? And people are stuck. They don't want to make another mistake. Well, what if the mistake is just staying put and doing nothing? It seems to me that if you're paying in most, most statements that come across my desk on average are paying 0 0.80. I've, I've, I've tallied the math. I don't want to go so far as to say it's over 1% in excessive fees because it's not. Sometimes it's one and a quarter excessive fees. Sometimes it's it's less than 1%. But on average, it's about 75 to 80 basis points or 0.8% per year. And that amount, again, can cost you upwards of $300,000 um, at your retirement date. So nobody can afford that. So get unstuck just by that, just by moving towards a lower cost portfolio, potentially. You know, if you're unhappy with your performance, which is what I wanted to talk about, people are scared of paying too much. People are scared of poor performance. People are scared of um, hiring another advisor that, um, that they can't trust. And those are, those are all scary things. Um, I wanted to read you a quote from... Um, from an investor at large, um, his name was Chris, not a client, but his name was Chris. And I found this in an article and I want Chris had to say real person, um, not my client, my mistakes were the result of blindly following the advice of a financial advisor without performing due diligence. I later discovered that this advice led me to pay thousands of dollars in unnecessary fees and taxes every year. Compound the effects of these mistakes over decades, and this was literally a million dollar mistake. So thank you, Chris, for, for educating investors at large. There's a few things to do to also get unstuck in addition to just lifting the hood looking at your fees, making sure you're not paying too much. How do you do that? You can get a 15 minute consult here for free. We can walk you through it. Um, there's many, many avenues of just literally Googling the expense ratio, um, asking your advisor, Google the symbol. You can figure out how much it costs for you to own that investment every year. Um, by the way, as you're evaluating fees, you need to know that typically there are up to eight, that's correct, eight fees that you could be being charged within your investment portfolio, up to eight fees. So you need to look into that. Again, um, a 15-minute consult, uh, which you can grab off of alphavest.com um, on the resources button, and we're happy to do a fee analysis for you. Um, but what Chris pointed out was a really important one, is that not only is it important to lift the hood, Look at are you what are you paying in fees and expenses? Look at your performance. Um, are you underperforming every year? Uh, look at the the unnecessary fees and the taxes you're paying every year. But but he mentioned due diligence, so that's another thing that could help you get unstuck uh, before you make a move to another uh, advisor. Uh, there is something the industry provides called a um, FINRA broker check. You can do a broker check on any advisor. Um, in the industry, in, in this advisor check, this report will tell you whether or not uh, that advisor has um, what are called reportable events, if they've had any disclosed um, inquiries. And so if someone wants to uh, raise an inquiry with FINRA or the SEC against myself or AlphaVest, whether or not the SEC or FINRA decides that that person was right, that that investor was validated and inaccurate in their complaint. Um, whether that happens or not, I could be found innocent and I will still have a disclosure on my record. So it's pretty cool to know that there are advisors out there that do have zero disclosures on their records. And while I may be breaking my own arm, you know, to be in the industry 25 years and not have a disclosure does offer something I would like to think in the way of trust. Um, but that being said, um, me having published, we're in the third edition of the Liberated Investor. 
Uh, we just republished that uh, January of last year. And uh, in this third edition, which is sort of my gift to investors at large, it is a free ebook that gives you the four things you can do to get ahead, to beat Wall Street at its games. And you know, one of those is making sure you're not paying too much in fees. So that ebook will outline that for you. Uh, it also talks about how can you get better performance? What methodologies might you want to gravitate towards as opposed to say maybe just a buy and hold strategy? We talked about that last week as well as what's in your portfolio. So further in the Liberated Investor Guidebook, you can find information on um, how to execute and get a broker check on an advisor that you may or may not be looking to transfer to. Um, or to help you manage your assets. Um, you may want to do a broker check on your existing advisor. So, you know, with that being said, there, there are some tools you can do to get unstuck. I'd like to offer number one, it's download the Liberated Investor. I believe that in four easy steps, and okay, so maybe they're not so easy, but I believe in four steps, uh, you can really gain the confidence you need to not be stuck. And then that makes things just a little less scary, right? So with that, I'm hoping um, that this quick snippet of what investors need to know now um, is important because there are people out there who are feeling like they want to make a move, um, who are a little worried about you know potential future of the economy, the stock market. And it all starts with just doing an examination. You might be in the right place. And so take a look at your fees, take a look at the performance, and take a look at your broker's record and get that confidence um, that you need to either stay put or to make a move. All right. With that, um, thanks for joining us for this week's edition of Wink. We hope you'll join us um, again Monday morning, 5.30 a.m. for 411 Live, where we do a little snippet um, each week on what our financial 411 is um, to help investors get ahead. With that, sending you out with uh, a perfect day. And uh, thanks for joining.